right, this quick tutorial is going to take you through Google Jamboard. So Google Jamboard, if you have never used it before, is Google's version of like an interactive whiteboard that you could use with your students if you wanted them to do, if you wanted to do some writing, some annotations, or if you wanted them to do that. Um, so I'm going to show you some basics of it, give you maybe some ideas of how you could use it in the classroom. Jamboard is by October going to be integrated into Google Meets. So it will be right there for you to use. Um, when we get to that point, I will send out another video to show you how to use it within your Google Meets. So in order to get to Jamboard, you're going to go to jamboard.google.com or you can access it by going to your waffle and finding the Jamboard icon. To create a Jamboard, you're just going to hit the orange plus button down below and a new Jamboard will be created for you. Um, similar to, once it loads, but similar to other Google programs, you're going to go ahead and click your untitled and for this one I'm going to do a mystery science assessment. I'm going to use it with my students so that they can do a bit of interactive um, work within this. So some of the features within Jamboard, you can add a background. Right now they have set backgrounds. There is no um, uploading your own background, but um, Jamboard hasn't been around for very long. So hopefully there will be some more improvements. They've already made quite a bit. If you want to annotate, so if you wanted to use this with your BenQ and write with it, you have a pen, pen you have a marker, which is a little thicker, highlighter, which would be to highlight over text, and you have a paintbrush. You also have an eraser to erase whatever you would have on here. You have a select button. So this is kind of nice if you want to put a few pieces of clip art and maybe sort them for your students, your mouse would do that. You also have a sticky note key and multiple colors. And you can put as many sticky notes as you want on the board. Um, I've seen this used a lot with students where like the teacher will post a question up top and then the students comment by adding us their own sticky note. You can add images from your Google Drive, um, or you can search Google for images. You have different shapes you can add. I believe there's only a few right now. However, the shape feature is relatively new, so they may be adding more. You can add text boxes, and then you can do like a laser pointer. So if you really wanted to draw attention to things for your students, it is there. Your clear frame is up here. So if you wanted to clear anything you have on there, and then you also can add multiple frames. So clicking the arrow will give you multiple frames. Expanding the toolbar right here, you'll be able to see all the different frames you have. So some of the uses I've seen teachers use this for. Let's go ahead. And maybe I'm gonna go into mystery science. And I really like this true false question. Um, I really like this whole assessment. So we're working, this is what we're working on right now. And I want my students to actually fill it out as if they were in the classroom. I'm gonna go ahead and actually take a screenshot of the sections I would want them to fill out. Keeping in mind that the screen that you're working with, you may need to take multiple screenshots so that you can make it all fit. So let's just say I just wanted them to have these four questions. I'm gonna take screenshots of it and then I'm gonna go into my Jamboard and add my images. So click images, upload, and select the images that I want to add. All right. And then they're there for the student. I maybe want to make them a little bigger because then they can interact with it. All right, so there's page one of the assessment. Um, I've seen this used a lot with Bridges materials because you want their work to be shown so they can show you their work. I'm gonna go ahead and add the second question. Okay, and especially for this one, there's gonna be like a true false, and there's gonna be a put an X next to it. So it's a little more interactive than um, a Google form maybe would allow. Same if you had like, you wanted them to graph something, etc. cetera. Um, and then what you can do is upload it to your Google Classroom, hit make a copy, and each student would get a copy of this assessment and they have all then the annotation tools on the side. Um, some things to be aware of, because this is an image and not a background, just be aware they might accidentally delete it. So have, you know, be ready to help them for that if they would, if that would happen. Um, some other ways I have seen it used 
is teachers have used it during morning meeting. And they, instead of making a copy for each student, they have one jam board and then each student has its own section. So they have their own section and would only be working within their section. So then they just share this one jam for morning meeting, give them a prompt, and they would only be working within their section. And that's a really good skill for digital citizenship to teach your students as well. Um, in the next part, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the teacher lens when you have students using Jamboard within Google Classroom. So if you use Jamboard within your Google Classroom, for example, um, we used it for the numeral expressions, numerical expressions checkpoint. I just want to show you how that looks like as you are viewing the assignment. So the students have already completed it. You can go ahead and click on the assignment. So this is the assignment we had them complete. So we had them actually fill out the expressions within Jamboard. Um, so to access their work, we're gonna go ahead and click View Assignment. And then we're gonna click on the student. And you're gonna see it's a little different than when they turned in um, a Google Slides because in Google Slides, you can actually view the multiple slides within this. For this, you're actually gonna click Open in Jamboard. And now I'm going to be able to go in and see all of the work the students submitted. So see what they filled out. Um, let me just pull up one more here that turned it in. So like if we look at Leah's here, um, she's actually added the app that we were using when she was solving. She's added those images. So it just gives the students a different way of showing their work for you, um, being able to write out their work or the process that they use. So if you have any questions on using Jamboard, connect with your tech coach. We'd be more than happy to get you started.